Hey everyone, it's Caleb, and in this video we're going to be talking about creating our very first launchable Python file. And I'll explain what that means in just a second, but first, for simplicity, I pinned this to my start menu, and I'd recommend that you do that. So to do that, you can click on the file, right click, and click pin to task, uh, I'm sorry, pin to start menu. Or you can pin it to the taskbar, which uh, might be useful for you too. But either way, I did that. Now let me just get that out of the way for because we don't need that anymore. Alright, so here is our idle, our graphical user interface. We can put our code in here. And then we press enter to execute that right in right that moment. And we can do things like create hello worlds and we can make if statements and so forth. We can make an if Sorry, I'm kind of bad at typing. Flub. And then we can press enter to go to the next line and press enter again to execute it. Well, that's something we can do with this and that's really cool. But what if we want to actually make a complete program and not have to worry about pressing enter and then it launching and doing what we want it to do. Well, that's something we can do with Python as well. So in order to do that, we click File, New File. All right, so this is our new file. You can see we don't have any of this extra text at the top, so we can start typing. And then we can say, uh, just for an example, let's create a print that says, Hello, world. Let me just uh, correct that there, and then we can put a semicolon to end our line. And I'll explain all this all this later, but um, I'm just showing you how the program works for now. So when we press enter, you can see, oh, nothing happens. Is it broken? No, it's actually supposed to do that. That's a good thing. What we can do is then click File, Save, and we can either save it to this folder or we can save it to our desktop, for example. And we can just name it whatever we want. We can say, hello, click save. So now we have a file named hello.py. And now to run it, we click run. And then we click run module. And it's going to run over here where it's um, on our graphical user interface. And it's going to run that file. So now, since we're going to be using both of these, let me just open both of these side by side. There we go. So now we can see both of them very clearly. So you can see over here, when we run this, it goes over and runs it within our graphical user interface. So we can see what this program does. So let's try something else. We can basically just turn this into an if statement indent that and then come up here if 5 is greater than 4 colon and then we can save it by pressing file save or just clicking control s which is what you will want to get used to that's what I'll be doing throughout these videos so I don't have to keep keep clicking that although make sure you save it that that's really important and then what we do is options or run, sorry, run module, or just press F5. And we can keep pressing F5, and it's going to run that module. Now let's try changing this. If 3 is greater than 4, and see if you launch it without saving it, it, has to, it says it has to be saved. So click OK to save it, and then it runs, and you can see nothing happened. That's because 3 is not greater to 4. So when we keep trying to run this, oops. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so make sure you don't click it, click things a little too fast for it. It might freak out like, on you like that. But what we can do is click File, Open, and then we can click our, our file to bring it back up. Which is probably a good thing that that happens, so I can just illustrate how to get things back up and running. Then you just click F5, and it will run it. F5 and it'll run it. Nothing happens. But you can see now we can make complex scripts all in one file and then run the entire script at one time. Now you may be wondering what is this file? How can I open it? Well let's let's try that out right now. What we're going to do 
is we're going to open the file location of our Python oops sorry wrong, of our Python folder so Python 34 and then we have test uh, I'm sorry hello.py I created that one earlier when I was messing around when we double click it we have this little black box pop up and then it disappears and you're probably wondering like oh well, what's the purpose of that well you can see it's not very useful right now that's because we haven't figured out how to keep that system open so where it doesn't disappear but if you look at this really quick if you were like if your eyes were so fast and you could like freeze time well that's going to run our script here I'll make it more easy to see so if I make it seven greater than four and just so we can see what's going on here put like 50 lines of that save it and then we run this file you can see a a flash of what our our um, program does you might not be able to see it too well on YouTube but I can see it clearly so that that's a problem we're going to have to learn how to fix in upcoming videos but as for now all of our scripts can be ran within our graphical user interface or idle so that will work out perfectly fine so we don't have to worry about running the actual programs from the file all right so that is the end of this video thank you for watching hopefully that was helpful and in the next video we'll really start getting into beginner programming techniques and concepts so uh, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video well technically I won't see you but you know what I mean all right peace